Value Trades. Welcome to the Value Trades Basic Trading Course. This is a series of videos designed to launch the journey of beginning traders in every aspect of trading with Value Trades. In our fourth video, let's take a look at different types of markets and how this relates to multiple time frames. In our Trading Tips video series, we looked at the difference between ranging and trending markets. We looked at uptrends where price action continues in an upward direction from low to high, where we can plot the momentum with trend lines. You will hear us say the trend is your friend many times, as it is always best to trade in the direction of the prevailing trend. We looked at downtrends where the same concepts apply, but in a downward direction. A very common trend trading or momentum strategy is to wait for a pullback to the trend line, then open a position in the direction of the trend. Later in this video series, we will look at indicators that will aid you in trading with this strategy. The other type of market is a ranging market where price action ranges between a low point, which we call support, and a high point, which we call resistance. Understanding support and resistance is critical in your understanding of how the markets work. This all looks very simple, but let's take a closer look. If we zoom in on this ranging market, we can see trending markets within it. We do this by changing the time frame as we learned in lesson three. We have moved from the H4 or four hour time frame to the M15 or 15 minute time frame. Depending on the trading style you wish to practice, it is very important to know how to view different time frames to understand the overall direction of the markets. For example, let's take a look at a common Forex pair, pound CAD, and on the W1 one week chart, we see a ranging market. If we open the D1 daily chart, we see a clear uptrend. If we open a new M30 30 minute chart, we see a ranging market, but a hint that price action is trying to break out. If we open a new M5 five minute chart, we can see a clear downtrend. If you click on the tile windows icon here or here, you may see all four charts at the same time. This is how we view one instrument on multiple time frames and how we can avoid making mistakes. For example, we may be tempted by the downtrend on the five minute time frame, but the prevailing trend on the daily chart is an uptrend. There is nothing wrong with entering a position on the five minute chart, but we may want to wait for a change in direction. Basically, the more chart time frames you have going in the same direction, the better chance of having the trend as your friend. That's all for now. In the next lesson, we will look at how to use MT4 Mobile and how to synchronize your accounts. Happy trading with Value Trades, and we will see you soon. CFDs and FX are leveraged products, and your capital may be at risk.